hey guys what's up so today is 10 november 2017 let's get started with our mcqs question number one which among the following is are the reason for prakrit to lose its importance after the 12th century it was a time when regional language in the northern part of the country emerged so this is absolutely correct hindavi except ramir kusra except started working on the hindavi language which later on became hindi urdu everything it was spoken by the common people that's why scholar ignored it answer is c both one and two so Prakrit started losing its importance after the 12th century, the time when regional languages in the northern part of the country emerged and the fact that it was spoken by the common people was also one among the reasons the scholars of that time ignored it. So answer is C both 1 and 2. Question number 2 which of the following is not a norm used to recognize classical languages? So high antiquity of its early text recorded history over a period of 2000 years, this is correct. A body of ancient literature text which is considered a valuable heritage, this is also correct. The literary tradition should be original and not borrowed. This is also correct. There should not be any discontinuity. So this is wrong. There can be a discontinuity. Okay. Who classified it? About in 2006, the Union Ministry of Art, Tourism and Culture announced in Rajya Sabha. And the classical language and literature being distinct from the modern. But there may also be discontinuity between the classical language and its later forms or offshoots. The earliest mode of acting in the form of Kudi Attam, uh, which is now recognized as an intangible heritage of humanity, survives only in which of the following states of India? Answer is Kerala. Uh, question number 4. Which among the following are the vegetarian sources of omega-3 fatty acids? Cauliflower, walnut, flax seeds. So answer is D, all of the above. So omega-6 and omega-3 fats are both polyunsaturated fatty acids and usually body cannot synthesize them and we get them from fatty foods. So sources for omega-3 includes cauliflower, walnuts and flax seeds. Question number 5. The largest of the Asian rhinos is Indian rhinoceros. Yes, Asia it is the largest. While African species of rhinoceros have two horns, the Indian rhinoceros have a single horn. This is also correct. So answer is C, both 1 and 2. So both African species and the Sumatran rhinoceros have two horns. While the Indian and Javan rhinoceros has a single horn. The horns are made up of keratin. So keratin, what is keratin? It is a protein that also makes up your hair and fingernails, etc. So answer is C, both 1 and 2. Uh, question number 6. Ikat is in Madhya Pradesh, so this is wrong. It is in Andhra Pradesh. Patan Patola is in Gujarat, this is correct. Maheshwari Waves is from Madhya Pradesh, so 1 and 3 are inverted. Answer is B, that is 2 only. So Ikat weaving is a weaving style that is famous all over the world and it's said to be originated from Andhra Pradesh, Nalgonda district. Uh, Patan Patolas are from Gujarat and it is a unique weave made from silk and uh, it is a double ikat and combines the techniques of tying, dyeing and weaving. Maheshwari weaves are from Madhya Pradesh okay, and uh, they are extremely lightweight, easy to wear and color of Maheshwari sari are made using the natural vegetable dyes. Question number 7. The government has chosen 10 islands in Lakshadweep and Andaman and Nicobar for their holistic development in the first phase of work being done by the newly constituted island development agency. Which of the following island is not included in them? Answer is D. Kavarati. Kavarati is not included. So Andaman and Nicobar have five islands. Smith, Ross, A.V. is long and little Andaman. And in Lakshadweep also there are five islands. Minikoy, Bangaram, Soheli, Cheriam and Tinakara. Question number 8. Unstable fat are bad for our health. This is wrong. Pufas are unstable fats but they are not bad for our health. Both omega 6 and omega 3 fats are unstable fats. So this is correct. So answer is C. Uh, uh, rather it is B that is 2 only so just because the fat is unstable which means it is double bond which means it is unsaturated it does not mean it's bad for us and uh, but less stable fats need to be handled carefully otherwise they get oxidized and convert to like bad fats like trans fats etc question number 9 Tamil was the earliest derivative from the proto Dravidian language followed by Telugu, Kannada and Malayalam so this statement is 100% correct now all these came under the influence of Sanskrit the least affected one being Malayalam so this is also correct uh, this is wrong the least affected is tamil so answer is a one only tamil was the earliest and it is the least affected last question which among the following was not associated with the story of silapati gram so silapati gram is a story by lango digal and it stars kannagi kovalan and madhavi kannagi and kovalan are husband and wife madhavi is a court dancer okay and a lot of fidelity infidelity issues come okay madurai kaveri pum patanam kodungalur all these are mentioned in Silapati Gram, but not Tirupati. So it took place largely in the city of Madurai, Kaveri Pum, Pattanam and Kodangalur. It is a Tamil epic that is uh, speculated that it was written about in 4th to 6th century AD and it is written by Elango Edigal. Okay. 
सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस लेसन एंड हैव एन ऑसम डे ही गा इज व्हाट्सअप सो टुडे इज इलेवेंथ नवंबर टू टेक्निकली इट इज स्टिल टेंथ नवंबर हेयर एनी वे सो आई एम इन सेन फ्रांसिस्को एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वाइट टाइगर सकर वन टू टाइगर्स दैट कैरी अ रिसेसिव जीन कंट्रोलिंग कोट कलर आर ब्रेड टुगेदर या दिस स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट द सेम जीन दैट कॉज इज द वाइट कोट कॉज इज द ऑप्टिक नाउ टू बी वाइट टू द रॉन्ग साइड ऑफ द ब्रेन दस ऑल वाइट टाइगर्स आर क्रॉस साइड इवन इफ देर आईज लुक नॉर्मल सो दिस इज करेक्ट सो आंसर इज सी बोथ वन एंड टू सो वाइट टाइगर्स अगर्स वन टू टाइगर्स दैट कैरी रिसेसिव जीन कंट्रोलिंग कोट कलर आर ब्रेड टुगेदर ओके इट इज कॉल्ड एज डबल रिसेसिव जीन एंड दे सफर फ्रॉम दी डिफेक्ट्स of and breeding and they are referred to as throw away tigers question number 2 recently a new passenger train has been launched in india and bangladesh it will run between it will it is called as maitri express and uh, uh, that is running between dhaka and kolkata and uh, it will run between kolkata and khulna so there is also maitri express between dhaka and kolkata it has been running since 2008 question number 3 which among the following disciplines have been covered in the national institutional ranking framework engineering management pharmacy universities so answer is d all of the above so national institutional ranking framework has been launched by mhrd and uh, this framework outlines a methodology to rank institutions across the country it includes engineering management pharmacy universities colleges etc question number 4 which one of the following countries had skipped china's one belt one road summit which took place in may 2017 so answer here is uh C India okay so India has skipped China's one belt one road summit which took place in Beijing over sovereignty issues over the CPEC that is China Pakistan economic corridor because it is going through Pakistan occupied Kashmir which is illegally occupied by Pakistan which among the following countries was recently visited by the typhoon Damri answer here is A Vietnam so Damri the strongest typhoon to make landfall in southern Vietnam in 16 years has left at least 106 people dead with hundreds of homes destroyed so answer here is a vietnam question number 6 which among the following countries lay overlapping claims to the south china sea so malaysia is there uh, singapore is not there brunei is there thailand is not there so answer is a 1 and 3 so china vietnam philippines taiwan malaysia brunei all have made competing claims to the south china sea an area that is rich in hydrocarbons and natural gas and through which trillions of dollars of global trade flow uh Question number seven. Consider the following statements. The APEC Secretariat is based in Singapore, so the statement is correct. APEC operates on the basis of non-binding commitments and open dialogue, so this is also correct. India is a member of APEC. No, India is not a member of APEC. So answer here is A, one and two. So Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum was established in 1989. Its primary purpose is to facilitate economic growth and prosperity in the region, with the vision of creating a seamless regional economy. However India is not a member of AP APEC and under the theme creating new dynamism fostering a shared future the 2017 APEC summit is being held in Da Nang Vietnam and there will be four priorities as you can see here please read them in detail because they will ask questions from it question number 8 which among the following are the function of omega 3 fats in our body they are an integral part of cell membrane so this statement is correct they help in making hormones so this is also correct they help to prevent heart disease and stroke so that is also correct so answer here is d all of the above so they are good for our cell they are great for because they are an integral part of cell membranes throughout the entire body and they affect the cell receptors in the membranes they also provide a launch pad for making hormones and uh, they also prevent heart disease stroke and other diseases the first translation of cordelia dar shastra in the regional language were in so here answer is a malayalam so the cordelia dar shastra for the first uh, translation uh, last question for the day is tri service exercise between india and russia took place in vladivostok yes this is correct the joint exercise between special forces of pakistan and russian army took place in min relni wadi so this is also correct answer is c both one and two so india and russia will held a mega war game in october 2017 involving their armies navies and air forces for the first time to further ramp up military ties and tri service exercise between india and russia is named as indra and the joint exercise drusba 2017 between special forces of pakistan and russian armies took place in mineralni wadi russia so thank you for watching this lesson 
hey guys what's up so today is 12 november 2017 let's get started with our mcqs question number one the nine dash line is related to so it is basically related to south china sea dispute so answer here is a so china claims by far the largest portion of south china sea an area which is defined by the nine dash line and which stretches hundreds of miles south and east from its most southerly province of Hainan. There are six countries like uh, Brunei and China, Vietnam. These countries are there who claim South China Sea for their own. Question number two, which of the following are correctly matched? Uh, Global Financial System Report World Bank. So this is wrong. It is Bank for International Settlements. Global Money Laundering Report by FATF. That is correct. World Development Report by World Bank. So that is wrong. Uh, so answer here is B that is two only so they have basically reversed first and third but please remember this this is very important question number three consider the following statements India is the first country to have a green tribunal uh, this is wrong India is the third country followed by Australia and New Zealand the tribunal is India's first dedicated environmental court correct it functions with an objective of deposing of the case within six months of filing so this is also correct answer here is B that is two and three only so India is the third country following Australia and New Zealand to have a Green Tribunal and National Green Tribunal has been established under the National Green Tribunal Act of 2010 for effective and expeditious disposal of cases related to environmental protection and conservation of forest and other natural resources and tribunal is not bound by the procedure laid by the CPC of 1908 okay but it is guided by principle of natural justice consider the following statements about the FEMA Act of 1999 it aims to facilitate external trade and payments that is correct it aims to promote the orderly development and maintenance of foreign exchange market in india that is also correct this act seeks to make offense related to foreign exchange civil offense so that is also correct so answer is d all of the above so it was an act of parliament to consolidate and amend the law related to foreign exchange with the objective of facilitating external trade and payments and for promoting the orderly development and maintenance of foreign exchange market in india Question number 5 As per RBI's new outsourcing norms, non banking financial corporations cannot outsource internal audit, strategic and compliance function for know your customer norms, and sanctions of loans and management of investment portfolio. So, all these are correct. So, answer is D, all of the above. So, NBFCs cannot outsource core management functions like internal audit, strategic and compliance functions for KYC norms, sanction of loans, and management of investment portfolio. Question number six, consider the following statements about the NBFCs. NBFCs cannot accept demand deposits, that is correct. NBFCs form part of the payment and settlement system. This is wrong. NBFCs cannot issue checks drawn on itself, that is correct. So answer here is A1 and 3. Okay, NBFCs they do not form the uh, part of the payment and settlement system and they cannot issue checks drawn on itself. And RBI is interested with the responsibility of regulating and supervising the NBFCs and uh, uh, let us talk about question number seven consider the following statements olive ridley turtles are found in warm and tropical waters primarily in the pacific and indian oceans this is correct they are best known for their behavior of synchronized nesting in mass numbers the olive ridley is classified as critically endangered this is wrong they are vulnerable species so answer here is a one and two question number eight which of the following creative fields are covered by the unesco creative cities network media arts films gastronomy music answer here is d all of the above there are seven fields basically they are covering so craft and folk arts media arts film design gastronomy literature and music question number nine which of the following are correctly matched location below the earth surface where the earthquake starts that is called as hypocenter and the point on the earth surface vertically above the focus of an earthquake that is called as the epicenter so they have basically uh, changed uh, here so answer here is d neither one nor two so the location below the earth surface where the earthquake starts it is called the hypocenter and the location directly above it on the surface of the earth it is called as epicenter so answer here is d neither one nor two uh, question number 10 india has improved her rank in which of the following indices in their latest report global innovation index so that is correct global logistics index so that is also correct uh, global competitiveness index this is wrong because we have slipped by one place answer here is a one and two so global innovation index we have improved by 6 place to reach 60 global logistic index we have improved our ranking by 19 okay and global competitiveness index we have uh, india's place at 40th rank and we have slipped at one place so thank you for watching this lesson
hey guys what's up so today is 30 november 2017 and we are here to discuss the mcq so let's get started question number one consider the following statements iemei is a 12 digit code that uniquely identifies mobile phone sets that is wrong that is a 15 or 17 digit code IMI code can enable a GCM or UMTS network to prevent a misplaced or stolen phone from initiating calls. So that is correct. So answer is B2 only. So it is a 15 or 17 digit code. Question number 2. Consider the following statements about the cigarettes and other tobacco products. Prohibition of advertisement and regulation of trade and commerce production supply and distribution act. The act prohibits selling of cigarette to the person below age of 18 years. That is correct. Uh, selling of cigarette in area within a radius of 500 yards of any educational institution this is wrong error this 100 yards so since second is wrong answer is c1 and 3 under the act the provisions for smoking areas or space can be made in the hotels having 30 rooms restaurants having capacity of 30 persons and in the airport so that is correct so answer is c1 and 3 so selling of cigarettes in areas within a radius of 100 yards is prohibited and uh, uh, first and third statements are absolutely correct Question number three, the coal wetlands, they form a unique ecosystem that supports large number of birds, especially migratory species, and it is located in, so answer here is A, Thrissur, Kerala. So the coal wetlands, they form a unique ecosystem that supports large number of birds, especially the migratory species, and it is located in Thrissur, a place in Kerala. Question number four, uh, no criminal case shall be registered under section 154 of the Criminal Procedure Act against which of the following, unless the government first consults the Chief Justice of India. Judge of High Court, yes, Chief Justice of High Court, Judge of the Supreme Court. So answer here is D, all of the above. So no criminal cases shall be registered under Section 154 of the Criminal Procedure Act. In these three cases, Judge of a High Court, Judge of the Supreme Court and Chief Justice of High Court. Unless uh, the government first consults the Chief Justice of India himself. Uh, when you consider the following statements, so the cases against politician ought to have been disposed of within one year. So that statement is rather correct and uh, a convicted person is disqualified for contesting election for 6 years from the date of conviction. Uh, this is wrong. It is rather date of 6 years from the date of release from the prison. So if they are convicted for 2 years then it is 8 years and if they are convicted for 10 years then it is 16 years and so on and so forth. Uh, question number 6. Consider the following statements. Particulate matter 2.5 is about 30 times finer than human hair. That is correct. Particulate matter 2.5 can be inhaled deep into the lungs, causing severe respiratory diseases. That is also correct. Particulate matter 10 is more harmful than particulate matter 2.5. So that is wrong. So answer here is A, 1 and 2. So 2.5 is more harmful than particulate matter 10. And it stands for particulate matter and the term for a mixture of solid particles and liquid droplets found in the air. Sources of PM include, they come in many shapes and sizes. They might be emitted directly from a source like construction site, unpaved roads, fields, smokestacks, fire, etc. And they can also be result of complex re reaction in atmosphere like sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, etc. Question number 7. Which among the following birds send alarm signals to other members in the flock with specially modified wing feathers? Answer here is A. Crested pigeons. So crested pigeons uh, send alarm signals to other members in the flock with specially modified wing feathers. Uh, question number 8 which among the following are the factors causing the decline of bonnet macaques in South India so loss of ground to the larger and more aggressive rhesus macaque of the north that is correct rapid urbanization causing loss of roadside trees and vegetation that is also correct translocation from temples and tourist spots that is also correct so answer here is D all of the above all these statements are absolutely correct question number 9 the FDA of USA has recently questioned the health claims about the heart health related benefits of which of the following product so answer here is soya bean many people think it is helpful to heart but recently the claims have been questioned and last question what is the pacific shadow zone so it is an area of almost stagnant water in the north pacific so that is your pacific shadow zone okay so it is an area of almost stagnant water and uh, sitting beside uh, uh, and uh, the shadow zone is an area sitting between the rising currents caused by the rough topography and geothermal heat sources below 2.5 kilometers and shallower wind driven currents closer to the surface in the north pacific and uh, this is the oldest water in the ocean in the north pacific and has remained trapped in a shadow zone around 2 kilometers below the surface area for over 1000 years so thank you for watching this lesson 
hey guys what's up so today is 14 november 2017 let's get started with our mcqs question number one which among the following articles of the indian constitution prohibits the slaughter of cows and calves and other milch and drought cattle so answer here is d article 48 so article 48 of indian constitution state uh, that state shall endeavor to organize agriculture and animal husbandry on modern scientific lines and will prohibit the slaughter of cows and calves and other milch and drought cattle Question number two, which among the following are the uh, members of the recently floated regional coalition known as Quad? So answer here is D, India, Australia, Japan and USA. So these are the members of the recently floated regional coalition known as Quad. Okay, Quad means four, India, Australia, Japan and USA, very big powers. In India, the national air quality index is centered around which of the following chief pollutants? Particulate matter with less than 10 micrometers, correct. 2.5 micrometers, correct. Ozone is there, yes. CO2 is not there. Carbon monoxide is there. So answer here is A, 1, 2, 3. So in India, AQI is under around 8 chief pollutants, PM10, PM2.5, ozone, nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, not dioxide, sulfur dioxide, ammonia and lead. Very, very, very important. Question number 4. In India, fishing cats are mainly found in the, uh, the mangrove forest of Sundarban. That is correct. On the foothills of the Himalayas along the Ganga and Brahmaputra river. That is also correct. Western Ghats, that is also correct. D, all of the above is the answer. So in India, fishing cats are mainly found in the mangrove forest of the Sundarbans, on the foothills of the Himalayas, along the Ganga and Brahmaputra river valleys and in the western ghats. And fishing cat is nocturnal and apart from fish, it also preys on frogs, crustaceans, snakes, birds, squenges on carcasses of larger animals. And it is listed as vulnerable and earlier it was endangered. Uh, question number 5. Under the Indian constitution, which of the following article deals with the office of profit? Our answer here is A, article 102. So article 102 in the constitution of India states that a person shall be disqualified for being chosen as for being a member of either house of parliament if he holds any office of profit under the government of India or the government of any state other than office declared by parliament by law not to disqualify its holder. Okay. So the amount of such profit is immaterial. It can be 1 rupees, 1000 rupees, 1 lakh rupees, 1 million rupees. That is not important. Question number 6. Consider the following statements. If any question arises as to whether a member of either House of Parliament has become subject to any of the disqualification mentioned in Clause 1 of Article 102, the question shall be referred for the decision of the President and his decision shall be final. Uh, that is correct. Before giving any decision on any such question, the President shall obtain the opinion of Election Commission and however its opinion is not binding on the President. No, no, it is pretty much binding and President has to act according to such opinion. Answer is A1 only. And you can see that opinion is binding on the president and he has to act according to that opinion. Question number 7. The Reserve Bank of India buys and sells dollar in the foreign market. Obviously, RBI intervenes in the foreign market to set a price band. No, no. Absolutely wrong. It is to contain volatility in the rupee. Answer here is A1 only. So, RBI intervenes in the foreign market to contain volatility in the rupee and not to set a price band. Uh, question number 8. Consider the following statements. India has recently purchased Rafael fighter jets from Britain. That is wrong. India has purchased fighter jets from France. The supply of Rafale jets to India has a 50% offset obligation. That is correct. Answer is B2 only. So India has recently purchased Rafale fighter jets from France and the supply of Rafale jets to India has a 50% offset obligation. What is an offset requirement? So it is a trade condition. It can be a part of bilateral or the multilateral trade agreement that requires a foreign exporter to purchase domestic products within its country or invest in the importing country. Question number 9. The fishing cat is listed as endangered on the IUCN red. That is wrong. It is vulnerable. Earlier it was endangered. I have already told you. Sites list the fishing cats on appendix 2 of sites. That is correct. In India, the fishing cat is included in Schedule 1 of the Indian Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. Both these statements are correct. Answer is B2 and 3. So it is located in appendix 2. Okay. And uh, earlier it was endangered. Now it is vulnerable. Last question for the today is under Article 102 of the Constitution of India. A member of the parliament can be disqualified on which of the following ground? If he holds any office of the prophet, that is correct. If he is of unsound mind and stands so declared by a competent court, that is also correct. If he is an undischarged insolvent, that is also correct. D, any of the above. Answer is D, any of the above. So if he holds office of prophet, unsound mind, discharge, and insolvent, so not a citizen of India or relinquishes the citizenship of India, if he is so disqualified under the law and a person shall be disqualified, uh, if if he is so disqualified another time schedule as well so thank you for watching this lesson is what's up so today is 15 november 2017 let's get started with our mcqs 
क्वेश्चन नंबर वन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट द फर्स्ट मीटिंग ऑफ द इंडो यूएस जापान ऑस्ट्रेलिया क्वार्टरलेटरल टुक प्लेस इन न्यूयॉर्क द ग्रुपिंग ऑफ फर्स्ट मोटेड बाई इंडिया इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन तो आंसर हेयर इज डी नाइदर ऑन नॉट टू तो द फर्स्ट मीटिंग ऑफ द इंडिया यूएस जापान ऑस्ट्रेलिया क्वार्टरलेटरल तो जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस फोर कंट्रीज मेक द क्वाड टुक प्लेस इन मनीला फिलीपींस एंड द ग्रुपिंग वॉज फर्स्ट मोटेड इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्स बाय जैपनीज प्राइम मिनिस्टर शिंजो अबे विच कंट्री अमंग द प्रपोज कोलिशन ऑफ इंडिया यूएस जापान ऑस्ट्रेलिया क्वार्टरलेटरल इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ अनदर सिक्योरिटी अरेंजमेंट इन्वॉल्विंग चाइना एंड रशिया आंसर हेयर इज ए इंडिया सो इंडिया इज द ओनली मेंबर ऑफ द प्रपोज कोलिशन दैट इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ द अनदर सिक्योरिटी अरेंजमेंट इन्वॉल्विंग चाइना एंड रशिया एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज शंघाई कॉपरेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री द टेन एशियन कंट्रीज अकाउंट फॉर अबाउट इलेवन परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया ग्लोबल ट्रेड इंडिया एंड एशियन अपग्रेडेड देयर रिलेशनशिप इन टू अ स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व आंसर एर इज सी बोथ वन एंड टू द टेन एशियन कंट्रीज दे अकाउंट फॉर अबाउट इलेवन परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया ग्लोबल ट्रेड एंड इंडिया एंड एशियन अपग्रेडेड देयर रिलेशनशिप इन टू अ स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व एंड द एसोसिएशन ऑफ साउथ ईस्ट एशियन नेशन कंप्राइज ऑफ दीज टेन कंट्रीज इंडोनेशिया सिंगापुर फिलीपींस मलेशिया ब्रूनाय थाईलैंड कंबोडिया लाओस म्यांमार एंड वियतनाम क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर एशियान प्लस सिक्स कंजिस्ट ऑफ टेन एशियान नेशन एंड सिक्स अदर नेशन विच इंक्लूड चाइना इज देयर न्यूजीलैंड जापान आई डोंट थिंक श्रीलंका इज देयर द आंसर हेयर इज ए वन टू थ्री सो इट इंक्लूड्स इंडिया चाइना जापान साउथ कोरिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड न्यूजीलैंड एंड दीज आर आर सी ई पी पार्टनर्स दैट इज रीजनल कॉम्प्रहेंसिव इकोनॉमिक पार्टनरशिप एंड एशियान कंप्राइज ऑफ इंडोनेशिया सिंगापुर फिलीपींस मलेशिया ब्रोनी थाईलैंड कंबोडिया लेवास म्यांमार एंड वियतनाम एंड इट इज टू डिस्कस दी आर सी ई पी क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव मोस्ट कमिटीज ऑफ पार्लियामेंट इंक्लूड एम पीज फ्रॉम बोथ दी लोकसभा एंड राज्यसभा यस अ जॉइंट पार्लियामेंट्री कमिटी सेट अप फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक ऑब्जेक्ट एंड ड्यूरेशन जॉइंट कमिटी आर सेट अप बाय मोशन पास इन वन हाउस ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट and agreed to by the other the answer is d all of the above so a structured committee was introduced in 1993 to provide for greater scrutiny of government functioning by parliament and most committees of parliament include mps from both the lok sabha and rajya sabha however there are a few committees which do not include from one out one or the other house a jpc is an ad hoc body it is set up for a specific object and duration and joint committees are set up by a motion passed in one house of the parliament and agreed to by the other Question number six: The right to fair compensation and transparency in land acquisition, rehabilitation, and resettlement bill, 2015, seeks to exempt which of the following categories from the provision of the LAR Act, 2013? Urban infrastructure, affordable housing, and industrial corridors. Answer here is two and three. Not urban infrastructure. So, defence, uh, rural infrastructure, affordable housing, industrial corridors, uh, infrastructure projects, etc. Including PPP projects, central government on the land. They are the five categories which require the uh, like the bill exempts these five categories to require the consent of eighty percent. India is an active participant in each of the following regional forums. Answer is Asia Europe meeting as yes. East Asia summit as yes. Asia and regional forum. Answer is D. All of the above. Apart from that, we have Asia and Defence Minister meeting plus and expanded Asia and Maritime forum. Question number eight: Which among the following classes is not covered by the National Achievement Survey? Answer is D, Class 10th. So, National Achievement Survey is the largest ever national assessment survey in the country, and it is among the largest in the world. It is a transparent and credible exercise done under third-party verification, and it was conducted for the Class 3, 5, 8 in government and government-aided schools. Question number nine: An inter-ministerial committee on phone frauds has recently been constituted in which of the following ministries? Answer here is C, Ministry of Home Affairs. So, an inter-ministerial committee on phone frauds has recently been constituted in the Ministry of Home Affairs, and it is very important. And last question number ten: Which of the following are correctly matched? The Aldabra Toll, Indian Ocean; the Valley's Barrier Reef, Atlantic Ocean. Answer here is C, both one and two. So, these, along with Australia's Great Barrier Reef, have been affected by the devastating bleaching events over the last three years. and these are also the world heritage listed coral reefs so thank you for watching this lesson hey guys what's up so let us discuss 16 november 2017 mcqs let's get started question number 1 consider the following statements about india state level disease burden report the inequalities in the disease burden in different states in india are severe yes life expectancy at birth in india hasn't much improved in the last 25 years this is absolutely wrong we have improved around 10 years 
and he has a higher burden for non communicable disease and injuries than from infectious disease that is correct answer is c1 and 3 so it was 59.7 years for females now it is 70 years and it was 58 years for males and now it is 67 years question number 2 Life expectancy of females in India is more than that of males. It is almost true of every country in the world. In the last 25 years, life expectancy of females in India has increased more than that of males. Both these statements are correct. Answer is C, both 1 and 2. So as per India's state level disease burden report, life expectancy at birth in the country improved significantly <coughs> in last 25 years. And you can see it is increases more for the females as compared to males. Question number 3. Which among the following states are referred to as the empowered action group states? Uh, basically the six states which separated along with Rajasthan and Odisha they are called as the EAG group so Madhya Pradesh divided into Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, UP divided into Uttaranchal and UP Bihar divided into <coughs> Bihar and Jharkhand so answer here is A1 and 2 so 8 socio-economically backward states of Bihar, UP, MP then Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Uttaranchal and apart from that two Odisha and Rajasthan they are referred to as EAG and they lag behind in the demographic transition they have the highest infant mortality rate in the country question number four andhra pradesh chilika lake is the largest brackish water lagoon in india this is wrong here chilika lake is in odisha I've been there ravati dolphins white colored migratory birds from different countries reach chilika lake every year during winter months that is correct so answer is b that is two only chilika lake is in odisha question number five qatar share land water with which of the following countries answer is saudi arabia so Qatar shares land water only with Saudi Arabia so answer here is A question number 6 recently Bahrain, Egypt and UAE broke off relations with Qatar that is correct uh, Bahrain, Egypt and UAE are member of the Gulf Cooperation Council Egypt is not a member answer here is A one only <coughs> so Egypt is not a member of GCC and Saudi, Egypt, UAE, Bahrain severe diplomatic types with Qatar and since then Libya, Yemen, Maldives have also joined the diplomatic boycott and Kuwait and Oman are the only GCC members remaining with ties to Qatar. GCC is a political and economic alliance of seven Middle Eastern countries that is wrong it is six Middle Eastern countries. The GCC also has a defense planning council that coordinates military cooperation between member countries that is correct so answer here is B that is two only. So GCC is a political and economic alliance of six Middle Eastern countries remember the name. Saudi, Kuwait, UAE, Qatar, Bahrain, Oman. Saudi, Kuwait, UAE, Qatar, Bahrain, and Oman. The purpose of GCC is to achieve unity among its members based on their common objectives and their simil similar political and cultural identities, which are rooted in Islamic beliefs. And presidency of the council rotates annually. And it also has a defense planning council that coordinates military cooperation between member countries. Answer to the following statements about the Udan scheme: It aims at providing connectivity to unserved and underserved airports of the country through revival of existing airstrips and airports that is correct it aims to develop the regional aviation market and make flying affordable that is also correct it is applicable on flights which cover between 200 and 800 kilometer answer is d all of the above so ude desh ka nagarik is a regional air connectivity scheme which seeks to make flying affordable by connecting unserved and underserved airports india and canada have a bilateral foreign investment promotion and uh, protection agreement we are negotiating currently we do not have as, a, as of now India had a, India and Canada have a comprehensive economic partnership agreement this is also wrong both are in the process of negotiation so India and Canada are negotiating both a light rate, bilateral FIPB okay foreign investment promotion and protection agreement FIPA and CEPA comprehensive economic partnership agreement under negotiation which of the following countries announced her intention to pitch for a global deal to eliminate gender barriers to trade at the upcoming WTO's ministerial conference? Answer here is A. Canada. So recently Canada has announced her intention to pitch for a global deal to eliminate gender barriers to trade at the upcoming WTO's ministerial conference. So thank you for watching this lesson. Hey guys, what's up? So today is 17 November 2017. Let's get started with our MCQs. Question number 1. Bharat state norms which are frequently in news they are related to so they are basically related to the vehicular pollution so answer here is A so they are regulatory pathway for fuel quality and uh, vehicle emissions being followed by India question number two which among the following is not an objective behind the establishment of the national green tribunal to provide a specialized forum for effective and speedy disposal that is correct to conserve it for conservation of forest that is correct for seeking compensation for damages 
cost to people or property due to violation of environmental laws that is also correct so answer here is d none of the above so all these there are there question number three the national green tribunal has the power to hear all civil cases relating to the environmental issues and questions that are linked to the implementation of the following laws wildlife act 1972 that is wrong public liability insurance act 91 that is correct bd act of 2002 that is correct answer here is c 2 and 3 only so ngt has the power to hear all the civil cases relating to environmental issues questions that are linked to the implementation of laws listed in schedule 1 of the ngt act these include water act water act uh, ses act forest conservation act air prevention and control pollution act environmental protection act public liability insurance act and bda and importantly ngt does not have the power under wildlife protection act 1972 and indian forest act 1927 Question number 4. Which among the following are the salient features of the BMW rules? That is Biomedical Waste Management Rules of 2016. Phase out the use of chlorinated plastic bags, gloves, blood bags within 2 years. That is correct. Establish a barcode system for bags or containers containing biomedical waste for disposal. So that is also correct. Inclusion of emission limits for dioxin and furans. So that is also correct. So answer here is D. All of the above. So Biomedical waste basically comprises of human and animal anatomical waste treatment apparatus like needles, syringes and other materials which is used in healthcare facility in the process of treatment and research and the major features here include phase out the use of chlorinated plastic bags, establish a barcode system and include uh, inclusion of emission limits for dioxins and furans. Question number 5. Consider the following act about the POXCO Act of 2012. The act defines a child as any person below 18 years of age. That is correct. It provides for special codes that conduct the trial in camera and without revealing the identity of the child. That is correct. The act stipulates that a, a case of a child sexual abuse must be disposed of within two years. So that statement is wrong. So it has to be disposed within one year. So answer here is A1 and 2. So it is one year only. And here you just read out about more. Question number 6. The introduction of Bharat stage 6 norms will lead to a significant reduction in the levels of which of the following pollutants. Carbon monoxide is wrong. It is mainly related to the particulate matter, oxides of nitrogen and sulfur. So answer here is C2 and 3. So introduction of Bharat stage 6 norms will lead to a significant reduction in the levels of particulate matter, oxides of nitrogen, sulfur, etc. Question number 7. Which of the following changes will be required in the four wheelers after the introduction of Bharat stage 6 norms? So, regional particulate filter, that is correct. Selective catalytic reduction module, so that is also correct. Answer is C, both 1 and 2. So, two engine fitments will be typically required for upgradation of passenger cars to BS6 norms from BS4 norms. So, it includes diesel particulate filter for reduction of particulate matter and selective catalytic reduction module for reduction in NOx emissions. Question number 8, the Election Commission of India allows only 14 days of official campaigning. That is correct. The official campaigning in India ends 24 hours before the scheduled close of polling. That is wrong. It is 48 hours before the polling. So answer here is A. One only. Question number 9. A board is a computer program designed to work automatically. That is correct. It is mainly used to get the information on the internet or perform repetitive jobs. So that is also correct. Answer is C. Both 1 and 2. So a board is a computer program designed to work automatically. And it is used for repetitive jobs. And artificial intelligence based bots are increasingly being used by organizations and entities to provide customer care, sales, marketing service, etc. And last question for the day is which of the following are correctly matched? Apple is Siri, uh, so that is correct. You might have used that. Google Alexa is wrong, Amazon is Alexa, and Microsoft is Cortana. So, answer here is uh, 1 and 3 B. So, popular includes Apple, Siri, Google Assistant, Amazon, Alexa, and Microsoft, Cortana. So, thank you for watching this lesson. Hey guys, what's up? So, today is 18 November 2017 and let's get started with our MCQs. Question number 1. Consider the following statements. France is the only major western power which doesn't have any territory in the Indian Ocean. That is wrong. India started her first international war on joint naval exercise with France. That is correct. So, answer is B2 only. So, France is the only Western country with large territory in the Indian Ocean region, including the Reunion Islands, and they spend about 2 million square kilometers of an EZ. And it has a population of 1 million French citizens in the region, 
and they are thirty percent are about people of Indian origin. And French Navy maintain bases in UAE, Djibouti, as well as in the Union Islands. And twenty thousand forces are permanently based in the IUR. Consider the following statements about the geographical indication tag. It indicates that product comes from a particular place region. Correct. GI tag is enjoyed by a community and not by a company. GI tag is given for both goods and services. So answer is A. One and two only. It's not given for services as of now. GI tag is only for good. It can be natural good. It can be synthetic good. It can be artificial good. Okay. And uh, registry and IP intellectual property. And India recently presented the geographical indication tag status to Bangla, Rasgulla of West Bengal and Mamalapuram. Stones cultures of Tamil Nadu. Question number three at present. Bharat stage five norms are applicable throughout the country. And India has decided to implement Bharat stage six norms from April 2020. Answer here is B two only. At present, Bharat stage four norms are applicable, not five. And their regulatory pathway for fuel quality and vehicle emissions being followed by India. Question number four. Consider the following statements about National Green Tribunal. It is not bound by the procedure laid down under the Code of Civil Procedure 1908. But shall be guided by the principles of natural justice. That is correct. It is also not bound by rules of evidence as enshrined in the Indian Evidence Act of eighteen seventy two. So both these statements are correct. So it was established in October two thousand ten under the National Green Tribunal Act of two thousand ten, and it is not bound by the procedure laid on Code of Civil Procedure, but shall be guided by principles of natural justice, and it is also not bound by the rules of evidence as enshrined in the Indian Evidence Act of eighteen seventy two. Question five: Consider the following statements about the structure of the National Green Tribunal. So the chairperson of the National Green Tribunal is a retired judge of the Supreme Court. The judicial members of the NGT are retired judges of high courts, and each bench of the NGT will comprise of one judicial member and one expert member. Answer here is all of the above. So the chairperson of the National Green Tribunal is a retired judge of the Supreme Court, and uh, the headquarters are in Delhi. Now other judicial members are retired judges of high courts, and each bench of the NGT will comprise of at least one judicial member and one expert member. And expert member should have a professional qualification and a minimum of 15 years of experience in the field of environment, forest conservation, and related subjects. Question number six: Consider the following statements about the new BMW rules 2016. The ambit of the rules have been expanded to include vaccination camps. Blood donation camps, surgical camps, or any other healthcare activity. State government to provide land for setting up of common biomedical waste treatment and disposal facility. Biomedical waste has been classified in to more number of categories to improve the segregation of waste at source. All uh, the last statement is wrong here. So it has been classified into four categories instead of ten, and to improve the segregation of waste at source. Okay, so here it was supposed to be four. And answer is A, one and two only. Question number seven: Diesel particulate filter removes particulate matter from vehicle exhaust, but it needs more space under the bonnet. Selective catalytic reduction technology cuts down nitrogen oxides in the exhaust of vehicles using ammonia. Answer is both these statements are absolutely correct. So diesel particulate filter removes the particulate matter from vehicle, but it needs more space under the bonnet. And selective catalytic reduction technology cuts down nitrogen oxides in the exhaust of vehicles using ammonia. And both of these technologies are required to be used in vehicles to meet the Bharat Stage Six emission norms. Question number eight: Consider the following statements about right to fair compensation and transparency in land acquisition, rehabilitation, resettlement bill 2015. It seeks to exempt certain categories from provision of the LAR Act of 2013, and the bill brings provisions for compensation, rehabilitation, resettlement under other related acts in consonance with the LAR Act. Answer here is uh, C. Both the statements are absolutely correct. So, bill has exempted five categories: defence, rural infrastructure, affordable housing, industrial corridors, and infrastructure projects, including PPP projects where the central government owns the land. Question number nine: The parcels and the Spratly Islands, which are frequently in news, they belong to. So, answer here is South China Sea. So, they represent in South China Sea. Question number ten: Most of the sectors of our economy are now open for FDI. More than ninety percent of FDI sectors are on automatic approval route. Answer is both these statements are correct. So in order to boost FDI, these are being done. So India has emerged as a front runner in attracting foreign direct investment, and most of the sectors of our economy are now open for FDI, and more than ninety percent FDI sectors are on automatic approval route. So thank you for watching this lesson. 
hey guys what's up so today is 19 november 2017 let us get started with the mcqs question number one if businesses fail to pass on the benefits of gst to consumers then the anti-profiteering authority can take which of the following measures it can order the business firms to reduce prices that is correct it can order the business firms to return undue benefits to the consumers that is also correct it can cancel the registration of the business firm all these are possible answer is d all of the above so national anti-profiteering authority has been created to ensure that the benefits of GST are transferred to consumers. Which of the following article of the Indian Constitution says that it is the Chief Minister's duty to communicate to the Governor all the decisions of the Council of Ministers relating to the administration and proposals for legislation? Answer here is C 167. So it says that it is Chief Minister's duty to communicate to the Governor all decisions of Council of Ministers relating to the administration's proposals for legislation and it enjoins the Chief Minister to furnish such information relating to the administration as the governor may call for. Question number 3. Apart from 10 ASEAN countries, which of the following are the members of the East Asia Summit? India, Russia, US, China. Answer is D. All of the above. So, East Asia Summit is a unique leaders-led forum of 18 countries of the Asia-Pacific region formed to further the objectives of regional peace, security, prosperity and it has evolved as a forum for strategic dialogue and cooperation on political, security and economic issue of common regional concern and they also play an important role in the regional architecture. So EAS is an initiative ASEAN and it is based on the premise of the centrality of ASEAN. The EU is India's largest trading partner accounting for 13 to 14 percent of India's overall trade. That is correct. ASEAN is India's second largest trading partner accounting for 10 to 11 percent of India's overall trade. That is wrong. Uh, India's fourth largest partner. So EU is India's largest trading partner accounting for 13.7 percent. ASEAN is India's fourth largest uh, trading partner. Question number five: Which of the following is are the important objective of IAEA, that is International Atomic Energy Agency, to promote the safe and peaceful application of atomic energy while guarding against its destructive use? So that is correct. To serve as the global forum for sharing nuclear know-how and techniques among industrialized and developing countries alike. So answer here is C, both one and two. So widely known as World's Atoms, Atoms for Peace Organization within the United Nations family, IAEA is the International Center for Cooperation in the Nuclear Field. Which of the following treaties represents the only binding commitment in a multilateral treaty to the goal of disarmament by the nuclear weapon states? So that is in the Non-Proliferation Treaty, okay, NPT. So NPT is a landmark international treaty whose objective is to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons, weapons technology, to promote cooperation in the peaceful uses of nuclear energy and to further the goal on achieving of achieving nuclear disarmament and general and complete disarmament and the treaty represents the only binding commitment in a multilateral treaty to the goal of disarmament by the nuclear weapon states okay question number seven uh, which among the following are not the members of npt israel definitely not a member india pakistan israel south sudan north korea answer here is d all of the above so India, Pakistan, Israel, South Sudan, North Korea. India, Pakistan, Israel, South Sudan, North Korea. They are not the members of Non-Proliferation Treaty. Question number 8 is among the following is a single state nuclear weapon free zone. So here answer is Mongolia. So Mongolia is a single state nuclear weapon free zone. Okay. Question number 9. Registration of which among the following is compulsory under the Births and Deaths Act of 1969. So obviously only births and deaths is compulsory under this act as the name suggests so answer here is a one and two only okay and uh, at present the registration of only births and deaths is compulsory under the births and deaths act of 1969 and last question which of the following countries have legalized the same sex marriage in 2017 so here the answer is uh, germany and malta so answer here is b2 and 3 so Germany and Malta have legalized the same-sex marriage in 2017 and in November 2017 Australian Bureau of Statistics revealed 62% of Australians had voted in favor of legalizing same-sex marriage as part of a national postal survey and Australia's parliament will now debate how to turn the people's choice into law. So thank you for watching this lesson.